Let's look, I know we're going to look ahead, way ahead here. Um, how tough of a matchup do you think the Cavs are in a playoff series? I mean, you, you typically look at it, you, you don't want to play a team that has a guy or two that can beat you late. They have that. You don't like guard play. They've got that. And they've got two big guys in Mobley and Allen who are really active. There's On top of that, yeah, <laughs> right. On top of that, they've played kind of playoff-style defense all season. Uh, and that goes back to the, you know, to Mobley and Allen, uh, really kind of creating havoc at the basket for opposing shooters. Um, so yeah, you know, they're they're definitely not a team. You, you know, along with all the things that you mentioned, Dave, they're young, so they don't really know any better. You know, they're going to go out with nothing to lose in a first round series, and uh, they're obviously very talented, very athletic. They've got a very athletic group. Um, <clears throat> all the things you don't want to see in a playoff series, you know, I, I really think you look back to two years ago with the Atlanta Hawks were a very similar group and went all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. They weren't supposed to get there that year, you know, and the Cavs aren't supposed to get to the Eastern Conference Finals this year. But I, I think they're very similar to that Hawks team in that, you know, they'll come out with all guns a blazing. They'll be... They'll be fired up. They'll be energetic. And, you know, they've been really proving. I don't think they had a ton of critics, but I don't think they had a ton of people saying, yeah, they're going to be a top four or five team in the East this season, even with Donovan Mitchell. And, and you know, they've really they've really silenced those critics and, and skeptics. And I think that they're, you know, would be on this very similar mission in the playoffs, especially when you consider there is no – you know, the Celtics have played very well. The Bucks played very well. Both, you know, veteran-dominated teams. The, the the Nets obviously have tons of talent, tons of promise. Uh, but that said, there's been no clear-cut, you know, Golden State Warriors like 73-19 and 19, uh, in the Eastern Conference. It's, it's pretty wide open. So I think that just about anything could happen. Uh, once the playoffs arrive. Yeah, and, and you know, let's put this out there. Their success at home, you want them to continue that because you want them to get one of those top four seeds where you have a first round or a first and a second round home playoff series. Um, does their style of play, you touched on that, they, they play half court. Does that help, do you think, just because um, – you tend to learn every possession is valuable when you do that, and that's that's playoff basketball without question. Yeah, the game really slows down. It can slow down to a grind in the playoffs. Uh, first and foremost, the officials tend to let more go uh, defensively in the playoffs. Um, and like you said, every possession is really valuable uh, in the playoffs. There's no throwaways there because a lot of times – you know, games could come down to the, the the wire, and you don't want something you did in the first quarter to come back and impact you, and you know, cost you the season. So, um, <clears throat> the fact that they're playing the style of basketball that they play during the regular season uh, is is playoff basketball should should really benefit them when it means the most. You know, another team that that I thought did that last year was was the Grizzlies. And they finally got it back into the playoffs. And when they did, they they used that to their advantage. And they're another young team that, you know, had some lessons to go through out West. So I, I, I think that the Cavs are similar in a similar situation where it's we're going to try to our best to play uh, playoff style basketball during the regular season predicated on defense. And, you know, a lot of it uh, includes trying to take better care of the basketball um, beyond that, though, you know, I, I think that they've they've got it pretty well uh, figured out because they do have two guards who can beat you. They have two big men who, if you don't pay attention to them on offense, they're going to beat you, but they'll really beat you on defense. And then, as we mentioned earlier, a whole cast of nice young role players uh, that that. Can can beat you on the home court if you don't if you don't pay attention to them obviously as well as Kevin Love and Karis Levert.